Uh, and then an example of how uh, methodology can really change how, how, uh, how efficiencies are achieved, uh, we decided to, to use the example of water. Um, I know that, that, that this, uh, this conference is kind of focused on energy, but one of the main goals of the Resource and Innovation Institute is also to expand efficiencies to uh, waste, water, and, and, and carbon usage as well. So with, the, with, with water being what we're looking at next, I really wanted to use this example to kind of bring this to the forefront of, of what people are thinking about. So we decided to um, use three different examples from that, that we've, we've used in the past multiple times. They're, they're all, they all can be used su successfully. There's plenty of president studies to show operations that are running each one of these uh, with, with great, great amounts of, of, of yield quality and all the success factors that you're looking at. But when you add efficiency in there, that's an extra level of data analysis that I think you know, we need to add to this. So the three that we chose was a fully hydroponic system. So this is your conventional 20% runoff uh, hydroponic cocoa core medium. Uh, the second is an organic soil bed system. And then the last is a deep water culture system. So if you go on to the next slide, we've, we've uh, quantified what some of the average usages is. So in that first example, which is, you know, we're, we're, we're saying that this is, all, in all three instances, this is a thousand square foot of plant canopy. Um, and in the hydroponic mix, we're using a cocoa perlite, and then we're doing that 20% conventional overwatering. So that uses roughly about 250 gallons a day or 500 gallons of water. Obviously, to the growers out there, you know, this is strain dependent as well as you know the stage of the life cycle. But these these are average numbers that we see. Uh, if you go to, to the next slide, then if you take that same room with the same exact environmental parameters, the same strains, we're going to be using about 160 gallons a day if we use that mass soil bed system. Now that is because you a you know you aren't you aren't, you aren't flushing that that medium, so you don't have that runoff associated with it, and um, that soil bed has the ability to kind of percolate water to different areas. The roots have the ability to enter. It, it, Inner, inner, inner mesh and find water pockets and water zones and water is used a lot more effectively in that in that that in that that means and then the last you know example that we show here is a deep water culture system so this is totally removing the medium just having a water uh, uh, as that substrate and essentially doing one monthly flush uh, which you know is requiring kind of an organic protocol within that deep water culture system. And typically, the plants are only using what they're what they're what they are actually consuming, as well as transpiring. And you don't have as much runoff or water waste, so you're really only using about 50 gallons of water per day. So you can see that you know equipment as well as methodology really play a difference in you know the amount of that resource that that you're using because there's so many other different factors that go into what's happening to that water within that system. 